Well, hi everyone, this is EC the Gamer, and we are back with Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, I'm recording a bit early than I do. I tend to record on the night, but I decided to record a bit early. So, yeah, hopefully I don't get a lot of interruptions. So, we're going to continue from where we left last time. I wasn't able to finish the battle, so I had to record it. Literally, I was about to finish it. It's just that I just didn't feel comfortable with five minutes. You know to be able to finish that and because i was i was assuming oh well, let's just let's think there's going to be maybe a cuff scene after that so i rather leave it for later so let's keep going you know oh i just love this music i i love i mean valkyrie Gargo, the first one has a really good music really good one but there's something about this theme when this game starts that it's just amazing Okay, so breaking the line. Oh, and this is, by the way, it's, we're still in the. How do you call? This is just the first part of this mission. Let me check something. Okay, the first time that I played this game was. Uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if people can see this, because in the PS4 when I recorded, this was not shown. But I think it's because. The recording in that game was more like in the system of the PlayStation. I don't know how that how it works. This needs to be in game or something. So assuming you can see again, I need to check the video. I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. I did check it the first time, but I don't remember if I actually. What did I see? So hopefully this is shown. If it is, based on this, I played this on 2018. Yeah, that was what? What month is this? October? Maybe October? Yeah, I think it's October. October 13th. That was the last time that I played the game. At least that I that I recorded, that I saved the game. And I played over 70, 77 hours. Oh, close to 80 hours I played of this game. I don't know how much I played about the first one. I don't think it went this far. This one, this game has much more content than the first one, def uh, of the first game, definitely. But let's keep going. I enjoy this game, so uh, both of them. Uh, uh, I wish they make another one. Okay, so this is where I was last time. So there was literally three guys, like... Yeah, all the tanks has been destroyed. I only need to eliminate this guy and that's it. Leave it to me. Man, I recently I recently saw the the news that Rooster Teeth, the company that made the Ruby and Red Breast for Blue show, they are gone. I see. They they were closed down by Warner Bros. Ah, that's so frustrating. Anti tank mines confirmed. Be careful. I'm really sad about this because I re about that because I don't know, I felt they were an amazing I wanted to see the ending of the show. Unfortunately, now we're not going to see it. Leave it to me. Oh no, I made a mistake. She doesn't have it. Damn it. She doesn't have ammunition. Like this body here, he has it. Let me destroy this from here because you're kidding me, right? Medic, medic. Wow. He missed. He missed. And the problem that I have now is... Okay. It's gonna take more than that. I need this girl to give ammunition to this one. Can I survive? Yeah, I did.
Damn, that was so close. Okay, so... The thing is, I don't have any soldiers. Yeah, I don't have any soldiers, I don't have... So I need to kill this guy so that she will be able to do her thing. Let me move her because I don't know if... There's the other base there. Yeah, I think I can get. Uh, it's a learning experience. No worry. Just do a little damage. Attention all squad. I want constant okay, you suck. <laughs> she did not even destroy the goddamn... Uh, at least I wanted to destroy the, the crouching, you know, like... The sandbags, but she didn't do it. They're going to ask for reinforcement. There's nothing else they can do. Come on, dude, come on. You you have to be. I mean, he can do it, but... Oh my god, the, the, the machine gun was about to kill him. Wait. Come on, guys, really? Is this close enough for you? Can you not kill this guy from this? There we go. I could have used the Gatling gun. Then you don't have to be so excited. Wow. I'm amazed. It's amazing and confusing, right? Because that's the one thing that I don't understand the Grenadiers, right? So it seems that when they say one shot, it's like a one shot, one kill. It means if that thing actually hits on his hair or something, because it happens sometimes where they withstand the shot, and that doesn't make sense, right? The number here, you know, when you you go into attack mode, okay, is supposed to it's supposed to be about uh, it's supposed to be about how many shots it's going to take to kill that person, right? Yes, sometimes that's not what happens. The question that I have is. Once I get this base, is this the end of the mission? Or is there something else? Nope, that's not what I want. Let's see what happens. On to the next. I took everything, so... Yep. Yeah, but the the mission is now over. We're almost out of ammo. A lot of wounded soldiers too. Pressing on would be dangerous. So the first game actually had a similar, uh, a similar mission. It was called the mole. What was it? Mulberry? The the mole. Or Mulberry. I don't know how it was pronounced. The Mulberry Shore. It 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 was it was like. World War II in the Normandy kind of thing, although this one feels more Normandy than the other one. Good point. Uh, that had to be such a hard battle, like... Just, we, we know the numbers nowadays and everything, but I'm just saying, like, you see in the movies, and... That's the closest you can get, because the other are just pictures, but... The movies are the only thing, like, say you probably Ryan, that can show you how... Devastating, how awful it was, like... It may sense, you know, 
like even if you made a surprise attack, it didn't matter because just to get to that to to the upper area, he was like <laughs> he required a number of souls to die just to get there. It's not easy, you know. <laughs> Especially you are if the enemy has a well defended position. What should we do? Let's retreat. The rear guard can hold the line while we tend to our wounded and resupply. In this case, they are running our ammunition. With uh, is this uh, this is an issue with the actual plan? Uh, I said before. I don't know what I felt because I never recorded it when I played it the first time. Maybe I didn't notice, maybe, I don't know, right? I, I don't remember. But when you see the plan, it's a so, it's a very stupid plan, at least, like, everything. As a lot of people can say, like, anything that, uh, the way you cure something in, in battles and, like, in Boston, right? And the way you cure uh, a defeat is with victory, right? Like, when you are winning, Everything is, oh, you did amazing. When you lose, it's like, oh, it's over. You suck or anything like that. Like, But this mission, like, yes, if it would if it, if this type of mission can succeed, then, yeah, you're going to be, oh, an amazing feel, like a, a, sp a spectacular strategy was perfect, the tactic that you use. But if it fails, you're going to say awful. Oh, who would have thought of this plan, right? And... I just feel like, in my opinion, when you see the plan from the start, it looks really cool on paper. Going to the heart of the enemy's uh, capital, you know, and once you get that, it is easy. It's over. By the way, this plan is not based on unrealistic ideas. This has happened in the in reality. I don't know how far in the past has it happened, but I know one of them is What's the name? Market Garden? Operation Market Garden? It was a... It, it was a World War II uh, operation that was basically... What I remember, it, it was they were trying to finish the war before Christmas or by Christmas. They failed horribly. Uh, horribly in the sense that the, the plan was a lot of soldiers died because it was a road. They, they were. They had this mission of moving a, a their whole army through this road. I'm sorry that I stopped for a moment here, but they. It's just that I World War II always intrigues me, but they they will they will go through this road. I don't remember which were the countries they were hauling or something. Like that. They were passing through to uh, one or two countries between. I I don't remember the name of the road, but. The idea was that they would paratroop soldiers in the in the in the row before the the tanks, so that way those soldiers could secure row the row uh, the what's the other name? I forgot the not tunnel. It's not tunnel. What's the what's the English for? I forgot about it. Damn the bridges. The the paratroopers would secure bridges. And the rows, uh, some uh, specific points in the row, so that by the tank, by the time the tanks would get to that place, they would have an easier path. They wouldn't, they wouldn't have to fight a lot of soldiers. You know, the enemy. They would just go through that as fast as possible. The key was that those paratroopers, the ones that were closest to the tanks, they would have an easier time because they would have reinforcement. The problem was. The ones that were far away in the row, they would have to stand, you know, withhold the enemy from multiple sides and until the tanks would arrive to their location. And what happened was that I believe that just moving the tanks was a feat in itself. Like, I think the the Germans destroyed, damaged some of the bridges or the roads, like they were being attacked by multiple positions. So the advance of the tanks, of the infantry and everything was very slow. And unfortunately, a lot of those soldiers that were in the front, the paratroopers, 
they a lot of them either die or they got captured. They they couldn't withstand that much time, and the operation was a failure. They had to go the hard way and think about it. They the war World War Two. They went the hard way. Like they went all. They had to go all to the capital to get the surrender. It was the Russian because they I think they make a deal like yeah let let the Russians go first and so they had to like hey they went the hard way like they went up until the very capital to get that surrender. That's that's how far they thought it was going to be oh we just had to make them we had to force them. Like uh if we made this major victories here or there made them scared they're going to surrender oh no they had to go all the way in Japan was different they uh, the United States they, they knew what was going to happen I think they had the calculations a lot of soldiers were going to die if they did if they went to the to the to the island they were just they were going to win but a lot of people were going to die from both sides the bonds I, I still don't agree fully but I understand where they're coming from like they were going to die a lot of them from both sides it's, it was going to be the same thing with Germany like it, they, they, I thought they saw like then this happened in Germany in Japan it's going to be even worse so yeah they, this plan here seems great on paper but the logistics to make a reality uh, is absurd You can see here they're having problems with supplies. Like they, hey, yeah, we came here, but now they don't have ammunition. So what's the point? We can't capture the fortress on our own, can we? Yep. Let's trust our allies and pull back for now. That's a D. That's okay. Uh, again, I believe you sh you should play this type of game. As you will in strategy, I, I go slow because that's how I like to play it. But I know when I finish the game, I will tend to go back to the mission, try to finish them fast. The problem is that you finish it fast, it is also unrealistic. I, I did it in Valkyria Chronicles, and the only thing, and the one thing you would do is you will level up your scouts, and you will literally take those scouts, move them around the the map, and they will get very close. Like they will get really fast if you level them level them up. So yeah, you can do that, and that's the. It, it, I don't know. Just take away a bit of the strategy. So it's better to play like this. Normally, you know, or forget. It. Hey, you're finishing A. Great. That's a D. So I assume that maybe a five, maybe a six. It was C. Maybe a five. It would be the other. Maybe uh, the B. Yes, we got the squad story finally. Squad stories are soft episodes that focus on the daily lives of your various squad members. New stories appear after certain units are deployed together often. Often enough, try pairing soldiers who like each other. Keep in mind that death soldiers cannot be deployed in squad story. Yeah, so in other words, if one of them dies, and I think it's just, there are missions that have multiple squad members. So I think, I don't know if one of them dies, that mission is completely locked. Yes. You certainly impressed someone in that last battle. HQ sent you something nice as a reward. I love this quad story. I think it's the best thing they made. And I know it's not from this game. They already, I think, Vakargo, well, the second game, the third game already had it, I think. But it was one of the best things. The first game needed this. To give more context or more background story of your character, not just read the, the story of each character on the glossary. Like, I don't like that. They gave me weapons. Okay. Let's see which quest story did I get. Treading new ground. 
Okay, so I got three men and a tank. Okay, so it's, an, it's with the tank guys. What I don't remember is, do I need but guess, do I need them to pair up, or it's just them appearing on the missions? Because I think they just have to appear on the mission, finish the mission, that is give points to their characters. I think that's how it goes. Let's go to headquarters. Let's see someone new. Okay, let the fresh recruits could give our squad a new edge. Might be good to get up. It's not easy, but okay. Yeah, I have all the engineers that I can. I don't have anyone else. That's the problem. I wish I have another one, but. See who I want to. So I wish to have Emmy and Rosetta. Which is Emmy is a Rosetta is a scout. Emmy is a. Okay, let's get this one. All right. Let's get Rosetta. Anything you need. I think Rosetta's a guy, right? But he... He's... I don't know what's the name, but... Uh... And he... He or she... Oh, I don't know how to call... But he... he the character is really cool. Uh... Okay, so... I changed the scout. I don't want to change... Uh... I want to stay with the same number, so... Floret... Ferrier is one of my favorites. She will always be there. Viola, hmm. Floret. Let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that because I really don't know. There. There were no new members, so. Oh, wait a second. How much do I have uh, experience? Six thousand. Let's go to the mess hall. Yeah, I remember this. I'm going to skip. I see this. I saw this already. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit in the bottom as fast as possible. Yeah, I don't care about this. I, I already saw it. I won. I won the. Well. How much is going to cost? Yeah. Damn it. Should I use this or not? Six thousand. Oh, I don't know. Let's do it. Let's do it. To hell with that. I hope that helps. Either way, I'm always here for you. It's always great to have them. You know, maybe you need it for later. I'm not going to use anything else. Uh, let's go to the R and D then. Oh, hey, Claude. Let's see something here first. I want for them, the snipers, I believe accuracy is more important than actual strength. At least I think. Maybe I'm wrong. But the more accurate they are, the better. to go with that one. Maybe it's a mistake, but I, I just feel it's better for them. Well, this is what I have with them, so... Whoa. 
Well done. Power. Definitely power. Wow. Accuracy is good, but I think power is also important for well that. Yeah, I don't think about it. I just... Oh. This is to raise their defense. More stronger, definitely. Okay, so let's go with the tanks now. Let's see what I have first. The Hoffman, the Cactus. Definitely, you need this. What? Where did I put it? Is it on? Again, did I put it? Yeah, it's there. Okay. Yeah, you can change all of this. Can the captain change? No, no. Not now. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. Forgot this. Yeah, these are the ones that gave me. I'm not looking for that. Who who did I bought uh, the snipers, right? I want to see if I change it already. Okay, it's already changed. That's okay. That's good to know. This actually is good for them. Yeah, this is... At least let me give it to... What the hell is this? There's something here. Ooh. So you can actually get this. Okay, that's good to know. Let's give it to... This guy. So you can actually add things to them. So this help her range. Let's give it to my guys. Grass. this maybe one of this to to this girl here there we go okay mess hall train mess hall I don't have anything let's go to the mess hall again Guess I'm well. okay nothing there here is simply... Oh, oh! Damn, I forgot about it. Let me save first. Mm. 
Let's see a bit more of this. <laughs> Please, Doc! Give me the drugs! <laughs> give me the drugs. We only have so much anesthetic to go around. Can't waste it on stitches. You'll just have to grit your teeth. <laughs> this is really cool. In the first game, there was a medic. And again, the same problem. No context to the medics, only based on what you read in the background. Brutal. He's lucky to have made it back alive at all. In the in the glossary, that's the only thing you get for her. Here you actually see the medic and all the other characters more involved in the story itself. I know I am. If that bullet had just been a little bit to the right, I'd be taking a dirt nap at the bottom of that cliff. A dirt nap, okay. Anyway, we need to prioritize the worst injuries. Claude, orders to redeploy Squad E. But we just got back. We haven't even given first aid to... Just focus on patching up anyone who can still move. Command says you're headed out, now! <laughs> wow. The f... The f... What's going on? Did they change the battle plan? The imps are pushing back, hard. We have the lead, but they know it won't take much for us to lose it. Before the enemy can intercept, the whole army is going to charge up the hill and get behind them. We worked damn hard for that foothold, and now we're just gonna throw it away? You're telling me we risked our lives for nothing? Raz! Damn it, Claude! Yeah, if I don't the hell up. here, then what's it gonna take? Even if I gotta do it myself, I'm gonna... Raz, calm down. Shut the hell up. Panicking. They're doing this because we pushed up that far. That's why we have the opportunity to flank them now. It wasn't for nothing, okay? Command is looking at this objectively. Follow their plan and we'll win. Yeah. Always the optimist. Just because Command have this plan doesn't mean that it's, <laughs> it's going to work, you know, like... Fine, I get it. Commander Victor! Who the heck are you? I never seen this guy. Ronald. So they didn't make it. Damn it. Who the heck are you? Squad E isn't the only one with a bloody fight ahead. Move out immediately. To seem they lost some soldiers. Miles. Did you manage to pull some supplies together? Yep. Just the bare minimum though. But interesting, they're talking about supplies, right? And now when you go in the fight, you don't have any supplies issue. You can shoot as much as you want. Sorry, everyone. We're leaving right away. By the way, it's interesting they added that. And it's frustrating, right? It's something that you... Because it's very confusing. They added that limit with ammunition. But it made sense, you know, like... Uh, the Grenadiers, the Lancer. The Lancer already have that, but... The ground they have it, the tanks now have the, the... They can shoot a certain limit of, of shots, you know. Before they have unlimited shots. So... They reduce... In this game, they did reduce a lot of... The constraints... The constraints... With the tanks, you know. They only move... You only use one command point now. But now they have the... Like, like they remove and add a constraint, you know, like they only take one command point, but they can only shoot a certain number of times. Engines all warmed up. I'm good to go. What are you talking about? You were destroyed the last time. Visibility's not great, but I won't miss. Damn it. Fine. Alright guys, let's go. We'll show those goddamn imps what the Federation's made of. We'll hit them so hard, they'll be feeling it for years! Riley, we're moving out. You ready? What? Already? Afraid so. You're not wounded, are you? <laughs> Come on, guys. You have to be honest. That face does not match what he's talking about. Or what he's saying. I'm afraid so. Like, they should have been... 
I don't know, I'm afraid so with a normal face, and then you're not wounded, are you? Then they would use that face, but maybe say it in a different way. Wait, are you not wounded? Uh, wait, are, are you wounded or something like that? It would be better to would have said it like that because that face does not correlate with the way the phrase is. I'm afraid so you're not wounded, are you? No, it's not that. I just wanted more time to customize some grenades for the terrain. Oh, wow. Oh, oh yeah. The rest on site. She just shamed them, right? Be ready when you need them. I think she does that. To sh me, they, she had more grenades. All right. I'm counting on you. That's the face. I'm afraid so. They would have used that one. And then the other one would... It would have been okay if... Base, but they would need to change the phrase. Like, oh, are you... Um, I don't know how to say it. Like, it's like... He, to to have that surprise face, he must be saying like something very dramatic, very. Uh, oh, are, are you injured or something like that? Like. Okay, we're moving out. Hmm. Do I go with this mission or do I go do the squash story? I'm going with the squad story. Let's go with the squad story because it feels like it's before all this. Three men and a tank. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. I think all of them have a mission. I think. Hmm. These treads are really made to last. Maybe not. The armor plating is angled to deflect shots. Man, tanks are so awesome. Oh, I'd never get bored just sitting here all day looking at one. Lord, what are you doing here? Again? I thought I told you I don't want you getting in the way of maintenance. Oh, come on. I'm just looking. It's not harming anyone. Yeah, he's, he's an engineer who has a lot of respect for Dan. No, but it's wasting my time. Look, I need to do a maintenance check on this tank. Shoot! Shoot. <laughs> Take maintenance, eh? Want me to do it for you? That's fine, thanks. It's my assignment, so I'll take care of it. I would have said, oh, okay, go do it. You're not a tank operator. Don't you have something better to do? Supplies to restock? Ah, that boring grunt work? It's a tankless job. It's a tankless job. It's a tankless job. Wow. Oh, Lord, why are you like this? Even in battle, too. They've seen you breaking formation to get close to our tanks. Taking too long on repair jobs? Wow. I've been getting complaints from the other operators, you know. I wish you'd take your job more seriously. Oh, these quest stories are important too for the character's personality traits. They the, they do change. After this mission, they do change. So, for example, if that uh, character had a, a negative... Uh, a negative... And a negative personality trait it could actually change to a positive one i don't know if it happened the opposite but it does change what you got a problem with the way i do things i'm the biggest tank buff here if you want to know about tanks i'm your guy all these federation operators are a bunch of amateurs it'll take years until they match up to me here i can prove it let me just do a maintenance check on this baby here i wouldn't do that if i were you don't go rubbing up on other people's tanks, kid. <laughs> huh? Oh, you Private Bentley. Good afternoon, sir. And what's got you so formal all of a sudden? Isn't it obvious? Private Bentley's an expert. There's no one in the squad who's better in a tank. Oh. You know, when he was in tank training, his scores were off the charts. Dan? But he drives the APC. Yeah, he's one of the best one, but he, he exactly he drives the APC. Well, I mean, if he's mastered the tank, naturally he'd want to broaden his horizons. You guys ever shut up? What's all the racket out here? Sir, we were just discussing our love for tanks. You really got that much free time on your hands, Miles? <laughs> well. Hey, I'm trying to do my job. Olar just kept going on his own. Olar, okay, Olar. I'd be honored if you joined us, Private Bentley. I know deep down you've got the same burning passion for tanks. Sorry, kid. 
But I don't have a way with words like you. I'll keep my passions to myself. <laughs> Doesn't even need words. Oh, he's oh my so god! Cool. See what I mean? You see how awesome he is? That's not what he said. Man, I wish I could drive a tank too. I want to be a legend, just like Private Bentley. Oh. I just received a transmission from Federation headquarters. There's an Imperial tank division heading our way. Our orders are to stop it. Whole division. Okay. Sounds like this won't be a quick skirmish, huh? What's that way? I'm planning to send a tank operator and an engineer to support the efforts. Oh, here we go. Understood. I'll let the other operators know. I'll be counting on you to direct us, Claude. Hey, hey Miles. I heard you're going up against an Imperial tank division, right? Yes. I'll be heading out tomorrow. Hell yeah! This is the chance I've been waiting for. Come on, let me join you on this mission. I, I yeah, can ride well. on the tank just this once, please. I'm sorry, but your orders are to remain on standby. What? What? I told you, the others have been complaining about your performance, and tomorrow will be dangerous. It's only natural that we prioritize the engineers we know we can count on in a crisis. Wow. <laughs> we can't afford to. I mean, it makes sense. Might be a liability, Olar. <sighs> The next day. Almost time. Only a couple moments until that battle against the Imperial tanks kicks off. Damn it. Why was I put on standby? How come I'm the one who has to sit out a tank battle? You're not dependable. I'm the only one here with a real passion for tanks. So why You're not dependable. What part did what part did you not understand what he said? You look like you're in a rotten mood, kid. You're that upset about being left out of the mission? B Private Bentley. I'd say you deserve to be more upset than I do, sir. Don't you want to be on tank duty instead of the APC? I don't know. I think he likes that. Nope. This suits me just fine. Going from tank to APC was my decision anyway. Yeah, he's assuming a lot. Like he's assuming that, oh, he he just wants to be in something new. You chose to? But you were the best tank operator during training, weren't you? I'm not into killing. Whatever skills I got, I'd rather use them to help my teammates. Which is very interesting, right? Think about this. Of what he says, he says there. He's not into killing. So let me ask you this, Dan. Who the heck moves the turret in your tank when I shoot when I shot someone in the previous mission? That doesn't make sense, right? Unless there's someone else in the APC, which it might be, right? But we never seen that guy. We know that in the tank of the Hoffman or even Edelweiss, there was only Isara and in this guy Miles, right? In the in in this game, and the and the captain, you know, the commander of the unit. That's it. Those are the only two guys there, or at least. You would assume, right? Maybe they don't. They're not showing you the other soldiers inside because they're, they're, it takes a crew to move all of these things. At least most tanks, I think they need what two or three people. Maybe, maybe you can do it with two. I don't know. Wherever you want to go, there's always more than one path you can take. That's what I think, anyway. Huh? You got a head for tanks, do you? <laughs> Love them that much. Think about what you can do. Uh. Yep. There's a friggin' mission. Okay. I want to... Let me save. I want to do something first. Let me go to... Sorry about this, guys. I have to do it. I have to check this out. I want to check it here. I know there's no one police. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I'll look for this guy. Where is he? Holler. Okay. Being near tanks increases his defense, so this is a good thing. Seeing ally time destroy lowers his accuracy and evasion as his mind wanders to repair. 
it could be a negative. As long as you make your thing is okay, it's not a problem. He takes a little too much joy in his work, decreasing his AP when he repairs the tank. That's a negative. Dan Lover, having Dan around may seem one to, lo to look good, increasing attack power and anti tank power. That's it. So essentially, he has two, two positive, one neutral, let's say a neutral, and a negative. I don't know if this story changes this, but I think it does change this one. We'll have to wait and see, or maybe add another one, but their personality traits do change. Their there. Something that was a negative becomes a positive, that kind of thing. And that has to change because every time you fix something, he, he get reductions in his abilities? No. No. Damn it. What did I do? This was not what I was. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to read this because I'm not going to do it. Damn it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. I didn't read it. I just want to read it in the next, in the actual fight. Thank boys. Let's begin the mission briefing. Damn! Look at that. Our target is the enemy tank and tank platoon. Squad A will take the vanguard. We'll send you some tank reinforcements soon enough. Still, we're outnumbered. It goes without saying that our tanks will take a beating. Command your engineers wisely and remember to repair your tanks when they need it. All our dies, the Hoffman is destroyed. The operation will end if failure is all our or the Hoffman get wrecked. Okay, who do I have here? Who do I have here? I'm not joking, who do I have here? He doesn't tell me who do I have there. I don't know who it is. I assume the Federation tank is this one here. Or maybe not. Maybe it's here. Well, this has to be... Oh, wait. It says it's here, right? Let me see if I'm right. No, it doesn't say it. Ah, damn it. So there's no one I can... So I don't need to put anyone. Okay. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, there's nothing to do. That will be all, Squad E. Onward to victory. Yeah, I was looking if there was something to add to there or here, but no. Okay, that's the signal from the recon team. Tanks, roll out. Roger. Hey, wait for me. Oh, Lord, what are you doing here? Please, you have to take me with you. I already told you yesterday, we can't... I know! It's because I'm supposed to provide support, but I never listened to anyone. But I realized what I was doing wrong, and I get why I wasn't assigned to this. I think I know what I need to do now, so please, just give me this one chance. Oh, Lord. Just take the kid, will ya? Yeah, come on, we have to fight to Damn. finish. Can't say if it's the right decision or not. But I can tell you the kid's serious about this one. All right, Olard. This is your shot. You're formally assigned as an engineer for this operation. Thanks, Commander. Thanks, Private Bentley. No need to thank me, kid. Just get ready. They're coming. Okay, so let's see the the map here first. Okay. Interesting enough, the Hoffman can actually move all the way here. Yeah, this can be destroyed, so they can move here. Hey, what is the mission actually? I didn't even notice. What is? 
Uh, okay, enemy base. I was thinking, what, what am I supposed to do? Can I? Yeah, I can call people. That's good. Okay, let's call Riley. Rath. Hi. Okay, moving out. Watch out! They're on to you! Enemy sighted! We're taking major damage. <laughs> I wanted to check that out. I wanted to see that. What would happen if I hit them all at the same time? That's okay, that's okay. That's really cool. <laughs> what the hell? I I kill myself there. Okay. Run. Ooh, yeah. So I can skip it. That was a massacre, by the way. What I got there was a beating. That's a a whole lot of damage. Right there. Target destroyed. Very good. Holy crap. Keep track of the enemy's location. Keep calm and move onward. Move. Uh, on, move. Okay, so that's good to know. I can't move this. I can't move that tank. There's no way to move it. There's really no way. He. Okay, that's this. Roger. Okay, let's first do this. Uh... Watch out for counter attack. Holy! What the hell? Uh, Bentley, go with me. There they are. All units, step it up. Let's provide support with the Hoffman. Found him. You've been spotted. Watch out. Wait and see 
what they do. Fire at will! Enemy spotted! Enemy forces ahead. At least that way he can move. Yes. I think there's another guy. Let's see. That's the only way. Okay. Okay, so let's mm, let's get let's get another one of you. Grass. Who do I get next? See if I can get this guy. Fire! Yes. Target I'm not going to move the tank. I'm going to leave it there. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's the tank. That's good. That's good. Come on, shoot at him, shoot at him. Uh, he, he stopped, he knew he was going to die. Is that the tank? Yeah, it's the tank, he's moving again. It's a hard position to attack the tank. That's okay, I have my engineer. Treads. Miles, can we still move? We're mobile, but it's pretty serious damage. Oh, I, I hit the bottom. Damn it. Out of the way! Commander, Miles, I can fix this in no time. So just keep those imps busy while I get in there. Man, the Hoffin is impressive as always. Here we go. Mm, those suspensions? Someone's been taking good care of. No, no, damn it. Focus. Right now, I gotta fix this. That ought to do it. Just need you to keep going a little further, buddy. Okay, Miles, floor it! God! I think we're good to go! Oh, <laughs> yeah! That torque feels so good! Feel the rumble! Oh, look at that polish! Oh, Damn, this guy. Freaking best! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that kid needs to get a grip. Still, say what you want. Guy loves his tank. Yeah, this is as far as I can go. Yeah, no more time. I'll have to leave it here, guys. As always, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That's all for the moment. Easy the Gamer signing off. I will see you on the next video.